Just a few things before she shares a few comments. Of course, um, what an amazing woman she is. Uh, she turned 94 a couple of weeks ago. And uh, such, a, such a blessing to have her with us. I, I don't know if you know this, a little history of all us getting together on these birthday celebrations is that this actually started, and you don't need to, <laughs> you don't need to feel me. This actually started um, when our mother was uh, around and she was getting weaker and her health was fading. And one of the things we thought to do was to um, come together as, as a family and we started on our birthdays uh, and at each birthdays and our mom was around for that particular time also. But it was a way to kind of keep things together and as a way to kind of uh, keep us close even though we knew that our mom uh, was going to be leaving us. And so uh, that was kind of how we, we started uh, coming together and we kept it going certainly after she left us. And uh, uh, so, so it's really uh, special because our mom would be at right now 94 years old. That's how old she'd be. And you are. 94 <laughs> you know and so it's nice to have someone representing her uh, her generation you know hanging with us is really great and, and we've already talked about the other connection you have to the to the trouts there in Rome Georgia so you're a unique uh, you're you really unique in terms of, uh, uh, of, of who you are and uh, and how God has blessed you uh, I, I mean it's one thing to be 94 uh, but uh, the fact that he has given you the ability to, to move around and to get around, uh, Kamita has shared with me many times about how so many of her friends have talked about how their older, per, uh, older family members um, don't, even, don't get out that much. <laughs> and, and, uh, and not only do you get out, but uh, we had her, Tim, we had her dancing the other <laughs> day, mm -hmm. Sunday, uh, at a party that Kamita had for a friend, and so she can she can bust a move, Bree. She, she can. was dancing tonight. Yeah. Actually dancing as me bumping me. Yeah. What? Uh, so that's uh, I mean that's an utter blessing from God to not only uh, be alive but to 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 have no major issues. I mean, have you ever been in a hospital or anything? Never had an operation. Never had an operation. <laughs> never had any major Sorry. issues. So. Uh, uh, so anyway, I want to have you just to share whatever you want to say, you know, to us about, you know, life, or what, you know, what, what life has taught you, what you've learned, what's the most important things, or just really whatever you want to share with us, you know, um, in your own way. Well, I like to say one reason I'm still around because I love Jesus and Jesus loved me. I know mm. that. And I talk to him a lot. And I know he hears me. Mm. I know that. Yeah. I have this big picture of it's supposed to be well, I don't know what Jesus looked like, but it's supposed to be Jesus. Yeah. Or over my bed. And I talk to him all the time. Mm. Sometimes when me to come to my room, she said, Mom, who are you talking to? She so hear me talking. <laughs> so who are you talking to? And uh, I I pray a lot. I love to pray. Mm. I never pray I don't want nobody hear me, I never pray in public. I got that from Kamita. <laughs> Kamita, when she was a little girl, she used to say her prayers at night, and she'd always say them so I could hear her. And one night she got down on her knees and said her prayers, and I didn't hear what she said. And I said, did you say your prayers? She said, yes, I said my prayer. I said, why didn't I hear you? She said, I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> and just, she was just a little girl when she told me that. Yeah. So I, I said, I just... I guess that is right. When you're praying, you're, you're not really you're talking to Jesus. You're talking to God. And um, I just, uh, I want to say something else about this picture that I'm, I told you about, I've had for a long time. I got up one morning and there was big red drops, looked like blood, running down the mm. wall beside this picture mm. of Jesus. Mm. And I didn't know what to do, it scared me. So I called someone in to look at it. And they came in, looked at it. It scared them. <laughs> Said, I'm not coming in this house no more. They didn't know what was going on. And um, uh, it, it, was, it was really strange. 
But this person, after he said he wasn't coming back in my house anymore, he went around and told everybody, and they had people coming, coming in my house all day long to look at that picture to see what was going on. And we really didn't find out what it was, but I think it was just really something coming out of the wall. I don't know. But it's so strange to see it running down beside this picture on the wall. Like blood, but it wasn't yeah. really. And, um, well, what else you want to go? <laughs> Whatever you want to share, that, um, yeah. Well, like I said, I love Jesus, and I know He loved me, I know He answers my prayers. I talk to Him all the time. And sometimes, like He's looking right at me. Mm. <laughs> It's just, uh, I'm, I'm just glad that I am still around because mm. I have so many friends, so many people. Every day somebody tells me they love me. Mm. That, that means a lot to me. Mm. Um, well, that's about it. Thanks. Praise God. Praise